In this video, I'm going to explain how to assemble a pressure tank control tee. The first thing you are going to need is your list of tools to do the job. You'll, it requires a 9 16 wrench, 3 quarter inch wrench, and a pair of channel locks. Most of these, everybody's going to have. Now, in order to acquire these products, you're probably going to go to Lowe's or Home Depot or your plumbing supply store. So a few things that you're going to need is what the products that they're going to sell at the <clears throat> at Lowe's is going to be made by Blue Monster. Now this is thread tape you could purchase. I would prefer liquid Teflon. It's just a whole lot simpler to use and you just take this and put it on your threads and then tighten them in. So you're going to put some on the inside of the threads, you're going to put it on the outside of the threads and you're going to tighten it up. If you use thread tape you have to wrap the tape <clears throat> clockwise with the direction of, of the thread. If you put it on the opposite way, as you tighten it, it the thread tape is actually going to unloosen. So you have to make sure of that. So there is a right way of doing this. This way, there's, there's just no wrong way. So I recommend getting you a tube of the liquid Teflon before you assemble this. Some of the fittings you're going to need to buy. First thing you're going to need is a one inch control T. You're going to need a boiler drain with half inch threads. You're going to need a pressure gauge with quarter inch threads. You're going to need a three or four inch brass nipple. You're going to need a 4060 pressure switch. I recommend 4060 because it's the highest pressure rating available. Try to stay away from the pressure switches that have the little lever on the side. Those are low pressure cutout switches. For your plumbing fittings on the inside, depending on whether you have PVC or PEX or black roll pipe black roll pipe you can get an ABS fitting or you can get a metal stainless steel I recommend staying with stainless steel if you have PVC pipe going into your tank you can run two two different scenarios here I choose to use the female with the one inch thread and the stainless steel band over it or you can also use a one inch slip by three quarter inch thread the reason why is there's threads on the inside and threads on the outside. Now if you choose to use these, it's going to shrink down the diameter of your pipe, which is going to reduce some of your flow. So if you stay with these, the diameter of the inside is the same. The, the only issue with these is you can over tighten them, so you want to make sure you do not over tighten them. I recommend once you put your thread sealant on there, you tighten it as hard as you can by hand, and then three quarters of a revolution with your channel locks. I'm going to go ahead and assemble this now. I recommend when you tighten the boiler drain that you always leave it at a slightly upward angle because the tank is going to be so low to the to the ground where you set it on that if it's pointed down any hose will not attach to it so always leave it at an upward angle now if you use PEX plumbing going to the house I recommend purchasing brass plastic you have a, a highly likely chance of, of breaking it if you're going to use black pipe going in or out, it's going to require three quarter inch threads. I recommend using stainless steel or brass. If you use plastic, you run into the idea of it breaking. Now, when you install these, I also recommend if you put this on, once you've thread, put pipe dope on it and tighten this in, 
always use two clamps. You're going to slide the clamps over the pipe and you're going to tighten them down just like that. That way you get twice the ability to seal the pipe on the barb. Now in order to slip the pipe over this, the black pipe, you're actually going to have to take a blowtorch similar to this one and you're going to have to heat the pipe up for about 10 seconds. Already have the clamps on the pipe and then slide it on. Sometimes you can take some of the liquid Teflon and you can put it over here just a small amount and that will help seal up any leaks any possible leaks but if you heat the pipe you won't run into that situation now what I like to do for these we're gonna put pipe dope on them and I'm gonna show you how to tighten them Now with your liquid Teflon, you want to make sure that you get it fully covered all the way around. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to start this. Now be careful when you start threading a plastic thread over a metal thread. Be careful you don't cross thread these. We're going to tighten this by hand first. As hard as we can get it by hand. And we're going to take our channel locks. And we're going to do three quarters of a revolution. half and that's a quarter that's three quarters over a revolution that's enough to prevent it from leaking and not too much to crack the plastic here now if you can find these with a the metal band I recommend buying that if you cannot find them they make these in gray which will be schedule 80 they're twice as thick and they're less likely to break but if you can't find them I don't recommend just using the plain white ones so if you can't find the metal band, I recommend buying a one inch slip by three quarter inch thread and you can then pipe dope and thread it on the inside of the tank tee. So now we have that. We're going to go ahead and assemble the PEX fitting in the other side. nice and tight so the tank tee is completely assembled now all that's left to do is to install the control tee into the bladder tank this next step is very important you're going to remove your cover look underneath your cover in the top corner it'll say on off and you're going to want to know the on number which in this situation is 40 so the air pressure in the top of your tank needs to be 2 PSI below the on number. In this situation, it should be 38 PSI. So you're going to need an air pressure gauge. And we're going to check the air in the tank. And it is at 37.8. So the air pressure in the tank is properly set for the switch that we are using. Now, if you're using a 30-50 pressure switch, you're going to want the air in the tank to be set at 28 PSI. On the base of the tank is a metal elbow with female threads. We're going to apply some liquid Teflon on the inside of there. And we're going to do the same thing with the end of the control T. Okay, now that we have our liquid Teflon on our male threads and our Teflon on the inside of these threads, now all there is to do is to assemble and mount the control T to the bottom of the tank. So I like to lay the tank sideways and sit on it. And we're going to sit here and we're going to rotate it. Get it as tight as you can by hand. And then do... Take your pipe wrench and 
do one revolution with your pipe wrench. Then use the bottom of the tank and square it up with the bottom of your T. And just like that, you have replaced your bladder tank's control T. If you have any more questions about any well-related videos, please visit, please visit my channel and find the playlist labeled Weld Q&A. There are dozens of videos there that might help you if this one didn't. Thank you for watching. Be sure to hit that thumbs up.